here. This is your little sister. She's so cute. Lydia, do you want to see? She's a baby. She's three months old. Oh. Oh my gosh. This trip has been three and a half years in the making. We felt God lead us to adopt, and it seems like forever, but um, it's now. The one baby trophy thing I'm bringing. We are adopting because it, the reason now is different than the reason why we started it. Tomorrow we fly to Ethiopia. We'll get on our plane at lunchtime, and we fly until midnight. Isn't that crazy? I think when we started the process, we had a desire to do it, not really necessarily knowing why. But in the end, I think for us, the reason why we're adopting is that adoption is such a clear and vivid picture of the gospel. We're just supposed to go up here, baby. Where we had no inheritance and we had nothing, um, that God brought us into his family and we're sons and daughters. We're doing it. We're on the plane. And adoption is, is exactly that. Are you ready? Ready. The Lord looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God. They have all turned aside. Together they have become corrupt. There is none who does good, not even one. As it is written, none is righteous. No, not one. No one understands. No one seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they have become worthless. No one does good, not even one. We just got off the plane here in Ethiopia and we learned that we have the opportunity to go meet our daughter right now. This, this little girl has no idea uh, who she's meeting today, but obviously we know we're meeting our daughter that God has ordained. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person, one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. They're um, letting us in to go see your friend. Hi, Mahari. Since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. She's checking out your camera. Hi. Sister, do you see her? In, in our eyes and in the eyes of the Lord, I mean, she's our kid. Um, same as Lydia and Ellie, even though I didn't give birth to her. Um, and that's something really special because she has nothing right now. Hang on. Well, I think we just feel really blessed that we have her. Um, that we can be your parents, you know, that all along in this process that God knew this was our our daughter. Can you walk to mommy? Can you walk to mommy? Who's mommy? It was stuff that, you know, she had to go through terrible things and luckily she doesn't remember those things. She was too young, but um, for her to be a part of our family, she had to lose her mother. Hey, hey child! I just feel um, really 
uh, blessed that God picked us to fill in that role. Tell me when you're ready. Oop. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who are under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir through God. Put this ball in the seat. Okay. <laughs> Two, three. As soon as we brought Terfe into our guest house, you know, suddenly there was a, a, a love for this child, and I believe that's from the Lord. He's given us stewardship over her, responsibility over her. The beautiful part about it, he's also given us a love for her, and uh, I, I praise God for it. And that's the fakest cry I've ever seen. I feel privileged that. Um, God selected us for this task because it's amazing and hard and probably put us through like the most challenging times, but it's worth it, you know. Daddy. You say that. Daddy. And I know that the adoption of, of us into God's family was costly. I mean, it cost his son. See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared. But we know that when He appears, we shall be like Him, because we shall see Him as He is. Ooh. Spiritually speaking, because of my sin, I was an orphan just like Trefe. I had no hope of an eternal family. God had to step in and make a way where there was none. He adopted me. We're here. Adoption means that God considers me a daughter of His, that I can be redeemed and can be considered to be in the same family with God through Jesus and the work that He did on the cross. My adoption in Christ means that I'm woven into His family. I can now rest assured that I have an eternal place in God's presence by no work of my own. And truly, truly, there's absolutely nothing better than that.